first thing I do, meditate. I used to wake up and have bacon and eggs, and now I wake up and have cocos and mangoes. I have no idea, well I have some idea, but I'm not sure how I can really influence the world to take on the same approach and feel just as good. Who am I to try and make other people feel better? Mmm. I can only set the example. This is so damn good. When I was younger, one of my fantasies was for there somehow to be a really healthy candy. I wished junk food was good for you. Why did I wish junk food was good for me? Because it tasted so good. And I found it. Fruit tastes so good. And it's so healthy for you. Healthy candy. So a lot of people want to know, do I eat the meat? Of course I eat the meat. If it's this thin, check it out. This is my favorite meat. It's called baby goop. Super thin and innocent, man. Really nice. This is my friend Loki's house. I'm gonna wake him up and see if he's ready to go for a run or not. <laughs> All right, 45 minutes later, I'm gonna go wake Loki up again, see if he's ready to run this time. Should be. Morning. Good to go. So we ride our bikes to Tanyapura, get our workout in, get some work done, do some meditation, come home, eat, sleep, go back to Tanya, and repeat. So, first things first, let's get on our bikes and go. There he is. Him and his panty sacks. <laughs> That was it. What did we do, Loki? We did 5K. We did 2.5K. We did 5K, five laps. We did 2.5K and then we did a 500 meter. The 2.5K was at 18 minute 5K pace. So it was, we took about nine minutes to do the 2.5K. And then we did a 500 meter, which took us a minute 28, minute 29. So that's about three minute per kilometer pace. Now I don't have time, I gotta go do something. So come follow me and you'll see what my life's all about. So what you want me to speed and, and I want speed, power, kick, everything. Show me your best. Nicely done. Nicely done. How'd it feel? Good. <laughs> like you said, it looks your good, support, man. It looks good. Your coaching, your training, spend excellent time. It was excellent. In Tanapura with you. Yeah, man. Hope it was good. You, again. you will see me again for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send you some videos of some drills too. Okay. It'll be good. Thank you good so job. Much. So, the swim session is done, and usually around this time I go meditate. I go to the uh, wellness center right there, right there, and I meditate for an hour with uh, Andrea or Pierre. But uh, Pierre is on vacation today and Andrea is not in today, it's not his day. So no meditation with the teacher, but I will go do my own meditation at the wellness center by myself or with whoever wants to come with me. And since I haven't eaten anything since this morning's mangoes and coconut, I'm just gonna have uh, an apple right now. And a few dates, maybe four or five dates. Right now, I'm gonna do a little swim first, swim of my own. 
and uh, just get some get some miles in, log the kilometers with the broken hand. Doc says can't swim for four to six weeks. I say no way. <laughs> it may not be cool to uh, disobey doctor's orders, but sometimes it's necessary. I gotta swim. So there's the swim done, 1.5K. Not that far, but I'm gonna swim another 3K this afternoon, so save the energy for that. But I uh, just uh, polished off that bag of dates. It's about 900 calories worth of dates in there. And the question arises, do you or should you drink water on a fruitarian diet? And that totally depends on your situation. Uh, on, a regular, on a regular day, for me as a triathlete, I would drink water if I'm out running, long run, or if I'm out cycling on a long bike ride, or if I'm in a long swim at the pool outside in a hot sunny day. Then I would drink water. I would also drink water if I'm eating dried food, like dried dates. Think about it. Dates are dry, and they come out moist. So if something's going in your body completely dry, and it's coming out completely moist, that means it's pulling some water out of your system in order to, to moisturize, to rehydrate. So you've got to replenish your H2O stores whenever you eat dried foods. Whenever you're out sweating in the pool or on the bike or in your running or if you're in a sauna. But for the most part when I'm at home I'm drinking coconut water. I don't drink water when I'm at home. I drink coconut water. I don't drink water with meals. I eat watermelons, I eat dragon fruits, I eat pineapples, you know, juicy fruits. And I drink coconut water, I drink a lot of coconut water, I drink about five to ten coconuts every single day. So, that's my take on water right there. And if I am going to consume straight water, I want it room temperature, I don't like cold water. I, want, I like room temperature water. I feel I can drink a lot more of it. So, that's that. That's my take on water. This is the meditation room, and this is where I meditate every day. Teacher usually sits at the front there, and I sit like right there. But today there's no teacher, so I'm gonna teach me how to meditate. Uh, if you've never meditated before, it's quite simple, but maybe not easy. So you just sit down, cross-legged, or however you want, whatever way is comfortable for you. Close your eyes and... Just be. The best time to meditate is when you don't want to. It's definitely the most important time to meditate. And the second best time to meditate is right now. So, if you don't want to meditate, definitely meditate. And uh, if you do want to meditate, great, do it now. I truly, truly, truly believe that the only reason people don't meditate is because they don't meditate. The only reason I never meditated in the past was simply because I never meditated. I hung around people who meditated, I had a lot of friends that meditated, I had some family members that meditated, but I always thought it was kind of weird, so I just never did it. And I remember the first time I did it, I felt really embarrassed. I was like home alone, I like sat in front of the fireplace and Turn the fire on, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna meditate for a couple minutes. And it was so awkward. I felt so strange. I felt so embarrassed for some strange reason. It was like some resistance around it. But now it's something I do every day, and uh, it's changed my life just as much as raw food has, just as much as NoFap has, just as much as triathlon has, just as much as vlogging on YouTube has. Meditation is a tool that uh, if you use it in conjunction with no fap and raw food and early nights and vigorous exercise then man you're gonna reap some seriously deep rewards so anyways I'm gonna go now for about 30 minutes give or take and uh, I'm gonna come out of this in a nice blissed out state so see you guys later
where I sleep. Don't have a bed and I love it. I just sleep right on the floor here. And uh, I gotta turn the fan on because otherwise I gotta use the AC and I don't wanna use the air con. The fan's where it's at. Anyways, I'm gonna take a nap. This is how I take a nap. No pillow either, of course. But I just lay on my side here and sleep like that. Just like that. Just had a great nap, 45 minutes, and I woke up supercharged. Willpower is at an all time high right now. Your willpower is always highest first thing in the morning and first thing right after a nap. So, whatever you're putting off, do it right after you wake up first thing in the morning or do it right after you have a nap. I am going to now ride my bike to the tech shop and fill up my phone with data. Something I've been putting off for a while, so time for a bike ride. If you don't want your coconuts chemically dipped, just ask for them non-dipped and they'll give them to you non-dipped. These ones are non-dipped and then after a day or two they start to go brown. If they were dipped, they'd stay white for a few days, like maybe a week. Uh, if they're kept in cold storage, they'll stay white for weeks. But if they're non-dipped, they go brown pretty quickly and mold starts to develop on them. So we get them non-dipped here in Phuket. This is our new cubicle here. Got kicked out of the last cubicle for not being an actual hotel member. They didn't like that we were just triathletes. So be a, uh, be a triathlete. This is the new cubicle. It's pretty good though, huh? Look at that. Nice view. Short walk to the pool, which is where I'm heading now. Loki and I just put in a good work day. Loki's got another hour left on the clock. Then he can clock out. Loki, what's your website? Uh, your magazine. Where, where can people find you? Bristollivemagazine.com Bristol Live Magazine, check it out, link right here. Actually, link in the description, you can actually post links in the video, so. Link in the description to Bristol Live Magazine. I'm gonna go for a swim now, Loki's gonna stand guard in the office, and uh, we'll rendezvous in a bit. Peace. It's a cold tub and it's very cold. That's a hot tub and it's pretty warm. Well guys, that's it. Thanks for following me throughout my day. Now you know what a raw vegan eats and does in a day. You can see that we're quite active if we want to be. We're quite productive if we want to be. We're quite good looking if we want to be. At the end of the day, we're human. I am a human being. I am not perfect. I am not superior. I am not inferior to anyone. I am just me. Same goes for you. You watching this right now, you are not superior and you are not inferior to anyone. You are just you. So do your best to be as unique as you possibly can and just express who you are. There's only one of you. There's only one of you. You are so freaking unique, man. And you've got to express that uniqueness. That uniqueness is attractive. I find, for me, the girls that are most unique are the ones that are most attractive. The girls that blend into the masses, 
I'm not interested in those girls much at all. They're nice to talk to, I suppose, but I'm not really um, attracted or drawn to them uh, emotionally or um, intellectually or sexually at all. It's the girls that are unique and who express that uniqueness. The girls that are not afraid to express who they really are, those are the girls I like. And same with the guys. I like hanging out with guys who are super unique. Loki's a really unique guy. Danny's a really unique guy. Irwin's a really unique guy. You know, the guys that just try and be like everyone else. Man, I was, I was, that was me in high school. That was my whole crew in high school. My whole crew, you couldn't tell us apart. We were all like each other. Everyone just wanted to blend in. And now I'm, you know, who I really want to be. Raw vegan, fruitarian, triathlete, vlogger, writer, entrepreneur, whatever, coach, um, weirdo, doesn't, doesn't, uh, it doesn't end, the list doesn't end, it goes on. So anyways, I just wanted to say uh, that today was really just an average day. There's nothing I did today that I don't do every day. That's what I wanted to show you guys. I go to the spa every day, right before bed. I swim every day, I run every day, I ride my bike every day, I eat fruit every day. I coach people every day. I relax every day, I meditate, I take naps, I have fun, I work. I work a lot. I hang out with friends. So I just wanted to show you guys that and you can see what it's really like to, to live in Thailand or wherever you want to live. I could be doing the same thing in Italy. I could be doing the same thing in Spain. I could be doing the same thing in the Congo or something, you know? It just, I just so happen to be doing it here in Phuket because um, this, is, this is where I'm, I'm drawn to. Today I felt really, really good sharing with you. and. I was thinking like, well, how come, how come I'm able to feel so good just naturally? Like it feels like I'm on a drug all day. Like if there was a medication people could take to feel like I felt today, people would be taking it every day because it just makes you feel so good. The way I feel is so damn good. And I think I know why. I think it's because I'm doing a whole bunch of things in unison with each other. I'm doing a whole bunch of things in conjunction with one another. I'm doing no fap. I'm doing meditation. I'm doing big, vigorous exercise. I'm doing raw food. I'm doing the early nights. I'm doing creative expression. I'm doing the coaching thing. I'm, I'm helping people. Just helping people alone. That's, that's a powerful tool. I'm getting in the relaxation. I'm taking the naps, yeah? And uh, I'm hanging around like-minded people. I've got that sense of community. And I'm finding progress with everything I'm doing. I'm looking for and finding progress in everything I'm doing. So when I'm being productive, I'm actually making progress. And when you do all these things together, you just you can't help but, but feel good. You can't help but feel good. And when, when I went to the spa today, I did the hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. Again, you can't help but feel good. So almost everything I do today, everything, everything I did today, everything I do every day, you can't help but feel good when you do them. You can't help but feel good when you exercise. You can't help but feel good when you meditate. You can't help but feel good when you do no fap. You can't help but feel good when you're around friends and you're laughing with friends. You can't help but feel good when you get a lot of work done. You can't help but feel good when you help someone else learn something, like I was learning, teaching the guy to swim, Freddie. Uh, you can't help but feel good, man. You just can't help it. So, there's one thing you get from the video, this video, it's just to start being aware of all the things that you can be doing each day that guarantee that you feel good and you start doing those things on a daily basis. Evening meditation, 25 minutes. See you guys later. Please stop. You don't need someone to tell you, hey, stop eating animals. That's not right. You don't need someone to tell you that because when you're feeling awesome, you're going to be at a different vibration. And at that higher vibration, there's no consumption of dead animals. Don't consume animals at a super high vibration. So, the thoughts you think, and then the feelings you feel as a result of those thoughts, will create your reality.